Welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. In this video series, I'm going to be going through an LDO Voron 0.1 kit. And this is meant to supplement my original Voron 0.1 video uh, in build series. So in this series, I'm going to be talking about some of the differences and benefits of going with the LDO kit, which I think is really awesome. And I'm also going to be talking about some of the common issues that you might find when you're building and things that you need to check. So if you have a Voron 0.1 kit um, from LDO or you're thinking about getting one, you know, watch this video. You can check out some of the highlights of the kit and what to expect. And I think uh, you'll find this a helpful supplement, particularly around some of the differences like the wiring, which has gotten a lot simpler. And as always, if you find this video helpful, please uh, throw me a comment, uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this LDO kit that I've got, you can see here, pretty good size. It looks like we've got the power cable here. That's nice and easy. Got the SKR, this should be the SKR E3 V2 Mini. Yep, with 128 uh, megabyte card and some heat sinks. Uh, looks like some little information here on what else in the kit. Got our linear rails, these are really nice. And they're stainless steel, and there's five of them. See how tiny these extrusions are. So I, I opted for black, which I think is a great color. There's also these electronics and wiring. So this is something that really sets this kit apart, I think from most kits that are out there. All the wiring is already crimped, so this is gonna save you a ton of time. Um, you may not even really need to get crimpers. Got a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. Got some zip ties, the fans, and so on and so forth. The heater cartridge that's here, this is a 50 watt cartridge, which gives you plenty of headroom for heating. You're gonna need that for high temp materials. I like these AC inlets, and this is a very nice one. So the GDS time, these are pretty standard. Oh, and there's a sun on one here, that's really nice. So the sun on fans are maglev, and they don't have uh, traditional bearing, ball bearings, so these are, these are really nice. And that's what you're going to use on your hot end fan. We've got the V0.1 motor kit. These are all the motors that you're going to need, including the one that powers the Z, which you can see there's a, a lead screw that's um, integrated into it, which is really nice. And these are also fairly good sized um, motors here. These are bigger than my original Voron that I built, but this is what you want to use for your 0.1. So this is a 1.8 degree NEMA 14. Okay, and then you can see that we've got this Fetus Dragonfly BMO. There are a couple of different hot end options. I think this is a great option. So in here we have all the panels. These are going to be used for, for all four sides, which is going to be acrylic. And there's also these smaller panels. You can kind of see the outline up here. And those are going to be used for the top hat. And this is another nice to have on the LDO kit that you're not going to find anywhere else typically. So this allows you to have very nice wiring and you can, this will be mounted on the back of your Voron and then you're going to have your wires come down through here and then just kind of pull them off as needed into the either the Raspberry Pi or into the uh, main board. And in here we have the power supply and this is a, I believe it's a genuine Meanwell. Yep, so it's a 150 watt 24 volt power supply so that's more than enough you are going to be powering a dc bed which is i believe about 60 watts and you're also going to be powering your hot end and your main board so that's plenty of headroom this one is labeled tool head in motion and inside here you're going to have some uh, these appear to be set screws with actually they're they've got some loctite on them too which is nice you've got your different screws here so M330s and M335 socket head, which is what SH stands for. And then you've got uh, your Bontech. This is your Bontech screw that you're going to use on the extruder. These are some bearings that you're going to need also for the extruder. And these are the bearings that you're going to need for your belts. Uh, these are the pulleys that you're going to need for your belts. Got some more of your Bontech gears. Which these look to be pretty good quality ones. Got some PTFE tubing that goes in the hot end. You're gonna be your genuine Gates belts, which are, these are really high quality, good belts. Now we've got the fasteners and tools. So you've got some VHB tape. This is gonna be useful for mounting the components onto the back of the panels. And we've got a whole heck of a lot of screws here, as well as these heat inserts. These are gonna go into the parts. 
And then we've got these rubber feet. And then last but certainly not least, it's going to be the build plate and parts. So this is the cable chain. Then you're going to have some uh, bed springs that help you with the leveling. You only need three of them because it's a three point bed. You've also got these neural nuts. These are used for the very bottom of the spring to tighten and loosen. So we've got a nice little textured sheet, a couple of them. And then we also have, wow, look at that. So the Canovo heated bed, DC bed is already applied, including with the RTV, which is this thick chemical that's gonna help keep it in place. And then you've got, it looks like a little bit of a covering here that's gonna have to come off. And then you're gonna put your uh, magnetic sheet on there. So here's the magnetic sheet, and then here's your PEI sheet. Looks like it's got PEI on one side. And then you've got a textured sheet, which looks to be double-sided. Yeah, looks like a really nice textured sheet. Well, I'm definitely in impressed with the quality of the kit components and considering you know there there are a lot of kits out there um, some of them are not so good of quality but they may be cheaper right others like like the ldo kit it strikes a good balance one thing that i will say about the kits is that there's no official voron kit anytime you buy a kit you are kind of taking a chance but I, personally i think that chance is worth taking the worst case you might have to replace a few components if you're not happy with them um, but at, at the end of the day it saves a lot of time trying to source the components individually and you may not have as many spares as if you were to go self-source. The biggest savings there is really the time that you're gonna spend.